What's up YouTube, this is Royd, aka Saratoza is my YouTube channel, Zach is my real name, um, this is my first tutorial on Python event scripts, scripting. Um, the reason I decided to create this is because there aren't a lot of these videos out there and I thought maybe I should, you know, try make a few, see how the response goes, maybe people might start making them in collateral. Maybe people might like mine and continue to request them. Either way, this is my first tutorial. This will be about global declarations, defining load and unload, basically creating a script that will load and unload. It's a very simple script, but if you want to move on to events such as player spawn and all that kind of stuff, move on to the next tutorial. I'll be explaining what I use here and all that. Um, I won't be doing installs and stuff in this tutorial. Uh, my current text editor is Notepad++. I use the language P Python. That's my syntax language for the highlighting, of course. So it highlights words in colors and such. Um, the server I use is SLCDS. I just run the console. That's what I use to debug my scripts and so on and so on. Um, I find it very useful. You should all create your own SLCDS if you are planning on developing because it does help out a lot. So let's dive into the code. First thing is first, import ES. What import ES does is it imports event scripts. Event scripts, all of their functions, their methods, everything you'll need pretty much is from event scripts. You'll find other things that we might end up start using. Well, we might start using later on other imports and so on and so on but for now we only use ES and that's what you should know um, define I will say define a lot I won't use a shortened word but it's short for define if you don't know what it means look it up define and then load these braces are the function header you'll put arguments in there later for now you don't know need to know what they need you don't need to know what they mean. Um, we define unload as well. So that's our unload and load. First things first, we'll run this as a quick test. So we get an indentation error. If you can't see that, it's indentation error. So of course Python is indent orientated, so we will need to indent the code. Even when it's empty and indented, it still will not work. You need to have at least one line in each function. Um, so for now, we will just have test equals one, test equals two. Save that, we'll run that quickly. And voila, it runs successfully. Next thing, we will display these results. ES, it's from the event scripts import. DBG MSG, DBG MSG is short for debug message. Like this. Debug message. It's to debug something and print a message of it. So we will use zero. Zero is the level. Don't really need to know about that, but you need to have that zero there. And then this is a string. Two double quotes says it's a string if you're using Notepad++ which you should then you can type inside it it's a light gray for the strings so we will just write test equals percent %s what percent %s means is it's a placeholder for a string so we need to fill that place with a percent here and we need to reference the variable tell it what variable we need to put there which is test so the reason I put these around it is because if you don't, you can't put multiples. Use that as a good habit. Just try and put those brackets or whatever you call them around that so that it's easier to add another one just by this, like that, or whatever. But you need to add another placeholder. So if you've got two there, you need two here, so on, so on. But for now, we only use one. You will see more examples as we move on. But for now, we'll just put that there, put that there, run the script, and the script says test1. 
if we type in es underscore unload and then the script name which is tutorial one it'll say test two because it's unloaded so that's the loading and unloading functions um, global we need to figure out how we can get test one to display in here but without test even being referenced so we will save that we will run it it will give us an error okay it'll give us an error when we try and unload it yeah uh, name error global name test is not defined because it's not global so we need to say test equals zero up here and then we need to call it as a global so we will write global test in each function that we want to use it because it can only see test if it's written like that it can only see test inside the function if we add the global test in there it can see it throughout the whole script once the function runs if it's only set in the function you only have it in the function once the function's complete it disappears into nothingness so if we set that as a global we don't need the global in the second one because it automatically knows what it is but we need it in the first one to say we're editing the value of the first one the main one and then we'll quickly run that script and we will unload it es underscore unload tutorial one it says test one it's the same as the load because it's global it doesn't change um, because we haven't changed it of course so that's globals variables and just simple event scripts kind of thing next tutorial we will teach you about events play connect play essay when people talk when people die when people you know just simple stuff like that I'll try and run through them um, if you haven't if any of you haven't understood this completely, please hit a comment up. I'll repost a video if I haven't explained something thorough enough. If you don't know about something, I'll post it in the description. Um, just comment, ask about it. Uh, catch his next vid if you plan on watching it.